is how safe it is. I'm always on the lookout. So why should you consider moving to Japan to study? I'm on my way to the convenience store now, but come with me and I'll answer the question. It would really be unwise of me to start rambling away without introducing myself. By the way, my name is Harold. I'm from Solomon Islands, a tiny island country in the Pacific Ocean. Guys, I notice a lot of folds on my sweater. For the record, it's a hoodie, not a sweater. Anyway, in 2021, I moved to Japan in a quest to study. Now I'm in Tokyo and I have one more year to go before I finish my studies. There are so many things about Japan that I love. One of them is how safe it is. To get this conversation going, let's go and grab some coffee from Family Mart. Japan is very, very safe. Trust me, people. I don't normally lock my apartment when I'm out. It's generally safe. I don't know if they even have people who break into people's homes here in Japan but if they do, they rarely come out. Then you have super safe streets that girls can even walk alone at night. I can really keep track of how many times I forgot my wallet at the convenience stores. And guess what? Every time I went to check, it was still there. Honestly, Japan has some minor social issues too. But that doesn't erase the fact that it's one of the safest countries on earth. And who exactly in his right state of mind wouldn't want that environment to study in? Every time I visit a new place, I'm always on the lookout for what exciting things to see. I was overwhelmed when I arrived in Japan. This is a fact. You can't argue with me. In every city, you are going to find well-maintained gardens, parks and public places for you to enjoy and out in the rural areas you are sure going to find a lot of things to do and see it has recently dawned on me that i may not get to come back to japan if i return home upon the completion of my studies so i've been trying to make good use of my time here by visiting a lot of places and that has really helped me deal with a lot of academic related stress It's after 3 p.m. and I've been talking for more than two hours. But guys, we are not done yet. Oh. 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 Guys, I'm on the train. i tell you what, the train system in Japan is something else. The train system in Japan is very efficient. You can actually live and work in cities like Tokyo without even owning a car. When I talk about efficient trains, I mean trains that are always on time. And in the city of Tokyo, the train system is so confusing. That's the case because literally, trains go to almost every part of the city. That's why you can survive without a car in Tokyo. Guys, I'm in front of my university. And I just want to let you know that a couple of days ago, my university sent me these coupons for Tuli Coffee. So we are getting 300 yen off every coffee that we buy from Tuli. So let's head inside and grab ourselves some coffee. Coffee was great. Look at the river. So my school is located next to this river. I was actually planning to do this part at school, but there were so many students, so I decided to come outside. Japan has some top quality universities in the world, and that is reflected in its OECD score. Look that up on Google if you don't know what that is. And for the quality education, you can get educated at most public universities for very cheap tuition fees. So I have an African friend who is actually doing a couple of part-time jobs just to meet his tuition fees to attend a university here in Japan. Probably not the most easiest means to come to Japan, but the point is the tuition fees are kind of affordable. Well, at least compared to what you get in America. I've actually heard of a few negative experiences by some students, but in general, Professors in Japan are some of the most helpful professors that you can get in the world. So, am I forcing you to come to Japan? No way! The choice is yours! Love it guys! Harold here, good night!